Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special edition of the Crownsman Show. Today, I am not at Mine Expo 2021, but Dan Allen from Cal Tires Mining Tire Group is. Dan, welcome to the show. You only going to get two minutes because we're going to feature a whole mem different members of your team. Um, so good to have you. G glad to see you at Mine Expo. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. Um, but can you just walk us through sort of the general theme of Cal Tire? To today at Mine Expo. Sure, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, I'd have to say that this is a bit of a weird Mine Expo, but there's a lot of great exhibits and things going on here. So the energy in the, in the room, the hall is really, really great. From a Cal Tire perspective, what we really want to try and focus on, on our booth at least, is to talk a lot about the environmental concerns of customers and how we're trying to address these with both innovation and, and new technology. Uh, for a tire company like us, for us to be featuring things like AI, uh, recycling programs, uh, you know, carbon emission standards and a couple of very unique safety related uh, uh, innovations for us. I, we're really, really proud of what we have to show customers. So this is going to be great. Okay, so we're going to we're going to keep things moving along and we're going to jump right over to Peter Nelson. Right. Uh, right. Dan, we're going. He's the innovation you and research and development manager. So we're going to jump over to him and get him to walk us through what he's sort of focusing focusing on at Mine Expo. See you next time. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the Crownsman Show. Uh, good to see you at Mine Expo. I know that you're featuring two different streams of innovation coming from Caltire Mining Group. Can you just walk us through a couple of them? Absolutely. On my left here, you will see that we have something called the wheel inspection. Wheel inspection is something which is happening at customer sites today. And when we have to send wheels to the, uh, the manufacturers, meaning that the customer have to transport the wheels to different locations where the manufacturer located. And of course, this is a fairly expensive operation to ship wheels back and forth. Our view on this, our objective is basically try to in introduce a new system called wheel inspection. And the benefit with this here is that we will do the inspection at site, at the customer site, so that we can identify what wheels needs to be sent to the manufacturer to be actually repaired. Instead of sending wheels, which maybe are already okay and can go back in the operation. This was improved the safety at the mine site and it also reduced the cost for the customers in order to transport the wheels. And this is a brand new invention. It will be something that we will introduce to the, our service portfolio and I'm looking forward very much to, to see this in action in the upcoming months. On the other side here, we have something called the magnet clamp. We are operating in many different sites and on a regular basis, we are removing the tire and the wheel assembly. When we're doing this operation, we are introducing a quite a, I would say unsafe area for our tire technician. It means that the tire technicians have to go in between the tire assembly and what we call a manipulator. And that is a danger area. What we have introduced here now is that they, we will introduce what we call a magnet clamp on each side, like three o'clock and nine o'clock of that wheel. This means that we can actually avoid having our tire technicians to enter this air, danger here. We can stand back and we can control these two units with a remote control instead of going into this area. And that have increased our safety for our technicians dramatically. And this is a, I think, a, a change here when it comes to our operation, because this needs to be introduced globally as well. You, you, know, you know, honestly, Peter, you're killing me because all I want to do is ask about 20 more questions. <laughs> I do not get that luxury today because I have to move on to Scott Farnham. He's a director yep. of recycling services. So thanks very much, Peter, and, and hopefully we'll get to meet in person soon. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Take care. Scott, good to see you again. Um, this I'm, I'm not going to throw 50 questions at you because I only get to have three minutes. So um, this is arguably one of Caltire's most innovative projects. And, and please walk us through it. You've got a to, to scale model behind you. Uh, tell us what's going on. Yeah, it's good to be here, Jared, at Mine Expo. Mine Expo and uh, happy to see you again. Yeah, here we have a, a scale model of our new plant in Chile, um, a recycling plant to show off our technology. 
So uh, we can walk the anybody interested in coming through exactly how our process goes and uh, the different steps on it. So it's a really informative multimedia presentation and scale model. So um, yeah, happy to promote uh, our recycling technology. And it, it seems uh, one of the themes of these shows here is uh, this year is uh, is green and uh, recycling and recovery. So we're happy to be here to promote our our system. Just get, can you give us a quick snapshot, Scott, of just the scale uh, of what this plant is? Yeah, sure. We have uh, a, a, a in Chile a twenty thousand square meter site, so you know a very very large site. It takes a lot for tire storage and uh, and the different uh, mechanical systems that we have here. So uh, these tires we're talking about are the ultra class tires. You know they're twelve feet diameter, four meter diameter. So it takes a lot of uh, large equipment to recycle those. Okay, so you've done this innovative system, and now I'm going to ask you to explain how it works in about a minute and a half. Go. <laughs> Okay, real cool process. Um, we heat the tires in a vacuum. And when we do that, there's no oxygen. So there's no combustion, no fire, no smoke. Uh, it's a very, very clean, environmentally friendly process. Um, and actually, after a while, after about five hours, the tires give off synthetic gas that fuels the whole process. So we turn off any external fuel and the tires themselves give the energy for this process to keep on going. So after, uh, after the process is done, we have uh, oil, carbon and steel uh, left in our reactor. So um, those are the original components that were used to manufacture the tires. And the rest of the plant goes to upgrade those products into very, very value added uh, construction materials for new rubber, plastic, um, paints and coatings. There's a lot of uh, different products that can be made from the, the base materials we're collecting and recovering from these tires themselves. It's absolutely amazing. And I mean, I've had the luxury of you walking me through the entire process. So we'll make sure to put a link to the video where you actually walk us through. And of course, if you're at Mine Expo watching this, we'll send people over to your booth. Thanks a lot, Scott. Very much appreciate it. Good to see you again. Great. Thanks, Jared. My pleasure. Okay, moving along. Now we're going to have Marcus Jackson. He is the manager for Lifetime Tire Service. He's going to walk us through the Maple program and Ultra Repair. Marcus, welcome to the show. Thanks for being such a big supporter on LinkedIn. Um, we haven't actually met in person, but you promoted our show a lot, so I appreciate that. Please walk us through both the Maple program and the Ultra Repair. Just sort of a snapshot of both programs, please. Would be my pleasure. Thanks again, Jared, for having us uh, here on the show today. So right here to the right of me, we've got our, our, our ultra, repair, ultra Repair material. Um, this is basically what we can do with this is we're, we're taking out damaged steel and replacing it with fresh new steel, taking tires that essentially would be scrapped that end up in an end of life pile somewhere waiting to be recycled. So we can take these tires, give them new life, potentially giving them an extra thousand to two thousand hours left on, on that tire for haulage. A little further over to our right is an industry first. This is something that is a um, basically it's our baby we've created this right from the right from the ground up going back 20 years worth of research and, and data from our uh, retread and repair facilities creating a, a carbon calculator um mm -hmm. we, in this this allows us to quantify the 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 amount that you can save for carbon and the uh, raw materials saved by by using retread and repair as opposed to buying new tires Okay, Marcus, can you just unpack for us a little bit what the customer can actually do with this type of data? Well, the customer can, you know, they when it comes time for their year-end reports and they have to do something with their environmental people, they can have something that they can quantify. They can have something that's real, that they can show that they have saved in, in CO2 emissions and, and uh, using less raw materials. This is something that um, can, can be brought into, into uh, governments like in Chile right now where they're being mandated to have some sort of sustainability program in place. So this is what we aim to do here with CalTire is to be able to give a value add to our customers, something that, you know, come year end, they can quantifiably show their, envir their environmental systems within play that they have exactly what it is that they're doing to move forward and, and be a sustainable source of retreading and repair. I, w I wish that we could ask more questions about that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an important topic and a very interesting one, um, but we got to move on to Mark Good. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it. And hopefully we'll meet in person soon. Hope so as well. 
So, okay, let's go over. We're going to talk about Tom's and Pit Crew AI, um, and we're going to be featuring Mark Good. He's a director business of business insights for Caltire Mining Group. Mark, welcome to the Crownsman Show. This is definitely a different type of Crownsman Show, but welcome nonetheless. Um, I want to talk to you. I've done another feature about it. It's just amazing stuff as well. Uh, Tom's uh, Pit Crew AI, walk us through it. Perfect. Well, thanks for having us, Jared, and pleased to be here today. And uh, great to have the opportunity to chat to you about Tom's and Picro AI. Uh, firstly, on Tom's, and I think overall, our operational system, which is Tom's, fits in with our, our, our key drive around journey to zero and safety. And, and safety is the first element I want to chat about with Tom's, um, that everything we do with the system helps reinforce safe mining and safe productivity. Um, from uh, having site-specific or mine-specific or truck-specific even uh, safe work procedures come up with all work orders to whenever we're doing a manual inspection, uh, we're doing a take five or fill level risk assessment as part of the system to the pit crew AI system that I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to talk about, which is helping us move towards autonomous inspections and, and really keeping the mine safer and more integrated into um, into autonomous mining. Okay, can you just walk us a little bit, just unpack Tom's a little bit, just its capability and its flexibility and things like that? Certainly, so look, at its heart, Tom's is a maintenance planning system. And this is a big change um, for us. And I think for, for time management compared to previous systems we've used both here in Canada and, and internationally, I think if, if I look at things historically, the tire guys, time management, when they were tracking tires, were tracking tires to report back on tire performance, primarily to the mine, of course, but also to the mine manufacturers. And this is something Tom's does, of course, um, but certainly, and at it its base, it's an EAM system, it's a planning system. And what it does is we take all the, we put into Tom's the, the tire management plan at the site, front rotations, second rotations, rim NDTs, end of life, the repair strategy, and we're bundling all this together into a cohesive plan that's prioritized that we can present to the planning team. Okay, Mark, I'm, uh, I'm really crunching the time here, so I'm gonna get you to unpack uh, Pit Crew AI in about 30 seconds. Yeah, Pit Crew AI, uh, Jared, is really technology that positions us for autonomous mining. We're gonna combine, or we are combining the data we're getting from the camera outside the tire, with a TPMS sensor data we're getting from inside the tire and bundling that and putting that through AI and, and predictive uh, analytics to allow us to plan tire work for the future and for a future where we won't be able to, to have people necessarily buy the truck. Absolutely amazing. Um, Mark, I wanna thank you for coming on. I wanna thank everybody for, for joining this and Cal Tire for you know, letting us be a little part of Mine Expo, even though our team couldn't be there in person. Absolutely fantastic. I want to give you, the audience, a couple places to go. Keltire Mining, we'll put that on. This will be in links, and it'll be easy to get to. But also, if you go to Keltire Mining um, forward slash Mine Expo 2021, 20, 20, um, we'll put that link up as well. You can download all these different segments that uh, of innovation that Caltire Mining Group has talked about today. So again, thank you to the team. We'll put that up. We'll have links. There's plenty to go to. And of course, if you are at Mine Expo in person, stop by. You can't replace an in-person handshake. So it's great. Thank you, everybody. We will see you on the next episode of The Crownsman Show.